The lesser occipital nerve arises from the fibers of the second occipital nerve, though the third cervical nerve has been known to give some fibers and curve around the spinal accessory nerve before it passes around the deep surface of the sternocleidomastoid to ascend parallel to the posterior border. Occasionally, the nerve may pierce through the sternocleidomastoid. Near the cranium, it perforates through the deep fascia and passes onto the scalp around the auricle to supply sensory innervation for the skin and connect with the great auricular and great occipital nerves and the auricular branch of the facial nerves. The nerve also supplies an auricular branch which provides sensory innervation to the upper and medial third of the auricle. The branch also communicates with the posterior branch of the great auricular nerve and it may itself occasionally be derived from the greater occipital nerve. Here we demonstrate a patient who has had chronic headaches, multiple occipital nerve blocks. He had a cryoablation of the occipital nerve previous and he still had headaches in the supraorbital region and lesser occipital region. The supraorbital nerve block alleviated his frontal headaches. He still suffered from pain behind his ear in the distribution of the lesser occipital nerve till he's undergoing a lesser occipital nerve block, which relieved his pain as well as the pain below the nerve in the mid-neck on the day of service. To learn more regional anesthesia and ultrasound-guided interventional pain, please visit nrappain.org or painexam.com slash events and sign up to one of our online or in-person ultrasound workshops. Our on-demand ultrasound training is included in the Virtual Pain Fellowship located at nrappain.org.